The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. There's a project that we worked on last year called Instrumental. PBS decided to air our movie legitimately on a real channel. She's invited Bird to actually be the main speaker on a cruise that she's having next year. I had no idea that Dylan had gotten these fireworks. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. To me, there's nothing like riding a bike because you are connecting with the elements at a whole different level. As you guys may know, or maybe not, Bert and I ride Harleys exclusively. We love them. We love them for the ride. You might say that we traded beauty for speed, but it's worth it. After riding Harleys and all different types of cruisers, I kind of really wanted my own style of bike. Miles, on the other hand, wants to take the other route. I wanted to get a sports bike, so I went to go check it out. I don't mind Miles having motorcycles because I've taught all my children to ride motorcycles since they were really young. However, a sports bike, unless you're going to the track, I really don't think you should get they say it's a whole young people type thing. Because the temptations are crazy. Once you're leaning into that bike, and I know because I used to have one, you just want to go fast. Uh, look at the motorcycles. Miles wants a speed bike. I don't agree with him. I was about to say, are you okay with him getting a speed bike? I'm not okay with it. We saw a bunch of different bikes. So of course the first thing you saw was the Ducati. This is nice. And the second I sat on it, it was just so like, aggressive riding position. Yeah. This riding position is so Sucks. Yeah. How long can you stay like that? I think it's beautiful. It's just not my thing. These are known for having a super aggressive sit. You like cramps at 80 miles an hour? <laughs> you got a problem. <laughs> I didn't feel like that was really comfortable. It's more comfortable than no, it is. You know how you ride that, right? For long distance. Put your elbow on the tank like this. No. I got it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I want to do that. The truth, I would still get a Harley and have this to go to the track. But I wouldn't buy this. I would buy that Ducati. It's funny because my dad, uh, around my age, he actually ended up getting kind of like the same bike. Years ago, I used to collect motorcycles. And one of the motorcycles I had was one of a kind. It was a the XXR 1100 boarded out to a 1200 and it would do eight seconds in a quarter mile. It was a sweet bike. He's seen it and I believe that's probably one of the reasons that he wants to get his own. Then we met Giovanni, one of the sales guys there, and he actually shared with us some really good advice. No matter if you're just new at riding or if you're experienced, he showed that you actually want to look at the front tire of a car. Because the first thing that's going to turn before anything is a tire. The tire turns before the car does. So you always want to be attent attentive to the front tires of cars while you're on the road. Huh. So I've actually saved myself a couple times because I would see the guy going already into me and I'd jump back, you know? So after sitting on a couple more bikes, I ended up falling in love with the j 6 r 1000. How you feel about this one? It's the one I want. Good. And where's one of the jigs? Good. We always try to please our children. That's sometimes that's not really the right thing to do. However, at that age, you're gonna fight your parents. Not safe now. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I'm still looking around for bikes, but I have a general idea of which one I want, and I'm um, just waiting for the right time. I still say go with the Harleys. A bar garage. You have to know who they are. They've been on our show before. Yudi and Mike are kind of cool cats. <laughs> No, they're actually cool characters, man. Mike is a trip because he will give you details on everything. If you ask him a question, he's gonna break it down for you. I really enjoy going over there. When you go to the shop, they make you feel like right at home. You connect with them and any ideas you have, they kind of expand on it. Well, as you can see, we've got a lot going on. When you guys first came here, we had, what, two bikes working on, uh, we had one custom that we were doing completely. Now we're doing a whole Array of bikes. The way they're building bikes today are second to none and they're custom. 
not just buying molds and putting it on the bike. They actually are customizing parts. We've got this one here with a 30. This is a Road King, Police Road King. Not going to be a Police Road King anymore. You're going to have a 30 inch, one off, complete, custom rear end, stretch tanks. It's going to be basically slammed on yeah, the ground. Flush. We're going for a hot rod look. This bike right here, this is a 2014 Street Glide, 23 inch wheel in the front. Matching 18 inch rear in the back with a 200 rear as opposed to the 180 that comes stock. Very mild custom, but nonetheless, when you look at the paint job that you see right here, this fender was a rounded fender. It didn't match with the bags that are angled cut. I was like, all right, don't worry about it. We'll take care of that. Came up with that. Look at that. Wait, I'm busy. Look at that. 2015 Road Glide. Complete drop seat kit. Molded in side covers, one off side covers. Completely one off bags. We have another Road King there. A rogue like there, that one's gonna have stretch bags. There's a lot going on at Ape Ball Garage. One of the things that I like about the Harley Davidson groups or the cruiser groups or motorcycle groups is when you get together and you do these drives, whether it's a toy drive or the poker run, it's always for a cause. Bikers do like to give back to the community. And we're trying to schedule in for us to go to the poker run. A two day event in Key West, Florida. It is actually a charity event, believe it or not. Bikers do like to collect money for charities. It is for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Fund, or Research Institute, better said. Uh, you have five different stops. You pick up a card at each stop. That determines your poker hand at the end of the ride, and you win a nice big fat prize. Apart from that, there is a custom bike show on Saturday on Duval Street, which Eight Ball Garage will have three, maybe four different bikes in that bike show. Here's my plan for the poker run. I don't know if he's going to be able to ride or not. It looks like he probably will be able to ride. You got plenty of bikes, bro. Exactly. <laughs> so we're going to have my bike. We're going to have the Road King. Uh, I mean, the Road Glide in the show. And maybe one of the other bikes. And it would be cool if we can have girls. You know, I'll have bikinis made for them. I just pass out little flyers and hang out, especially during the bike show on, on, on Saturday. Make sure that when you see me or my crew, that you come up to us so you can be on film too. What did we learn today? Sometimes as parents, we always want to give our children everything that we didn't have as we were growing up. However, when I don't agree with something, I'm going to make sure that he actually goes out and buys his own bike. So it's something to think about. And then looking into eight ball, there's nothing nicer than seeing people that follow their dream. Because if you follow what you love, you will expand. Hi, I'm Alexa from Welcome to the Family. And don't forget to comment, like, share. Oh yeah, and subscribe.